Hey all, we're back with another live arena video. I don't have a ton of time to finish a session uh, before it closes, but I did want to show you guys something before we jump into it. Check it out. I got my very first quad speed roll in a speed set. It's actually a divine set. I got it from the, uh, Je the deck of fate or whatever event that's going on right now. Um, and we, we rolled this naturally. You'll notice I did not rework it yet so we actually just straight up rolled this thing it wasn't even a chaos or which is absolutely insane um i did not have the glyphs to get it yet uh and i also only have one triple roll speed from divine speed another one um which is this one here so i don't have a glyph for this either but arbiter is still running at 393 speed it's a little bit less than she was before but we'll talk about why in just a second however when we glyph obviously both of these up that's going to give us another three and this is going to give us another four so she'll be at uh 400 speed once uh glyphs are done on those guys the other reason she's a little bit slower is because i reworked the kaja thanks to um well, thanks to the re-gearing event, and then I was just messing around, and I realized, like, oh, I can move this onto Arbiter, and then once we glyph it up, it'll be faster, and then in the meantime, because we still don't have a perception piece for High Elves, but I have one for Bannerlords, I was able to get Kaja up to 399, so she's almost 400 speed. She is also missing glyphs, so we can get another 3 speed there. Uh, I think that's the main one. Yeah, another three speed there, another three speed here. So she would be up at like, what, 406 uh, or 405 once everything is said and done. Um, so really happy about that. And the nice thing about have her, having her faster than Arbiter is we don't run into any issues with uh, Tormund because, I mean, we run into issues with Tormund, but the way we're dealing with Tormund right now is just chancing it and hoping for the best. Uh, and with arbiter with akaja going first it means we can boost and then arbiter can bring her increased attack which a major downside of the way we have it set up right now is against torment teams if we leave torment in and decide to do that we can't increase attack with arbiter because it will freeze us um so yeah anyway that's uh that's the new build and i'm super happy about that definitely need some glyphs uh i did get a six star glyph uh from uh, faction wars yesterday and I used it on that divine speed piece. We rolled five, so that's why it has something on there. Um, I'm torn about whether I want to book the quad roll chest or that quad roll helmet first. I'm kind of leaning towards the chest since now that Kaja is the fastest champion on my account, um, she's going to, uh, you know, get like, uh, what's the right way to say this? Um, it's the fastest champion on your account, which is the one that where the speed like matters the most. And usually if I'm challenging in a speed race, people ban the Arbiter anyway. So the faster Kaja might get more benefit than the faster Arbiter. I don't know. I'm kind of like whatever on that. I also really like having Kaja faster. So I kind of want to book the chest or glyph the chest. Um, but we also need to glyph the shield uh, as well. So I don't know. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. But one of the things I think the next big, big gear improvement on my account would be picking up a uh, accuracy uh, chest with an accuracy ascension and a couple of speed rolls. Hold on. I just wanted to um, double check my spreadsheet. Do I have anything on this guy? Bjorn. No, I don't. Okay. Um, so that I can speed tune the warlord with the Kaja. That's going to be the big, big thing that we can do to actually improve things. Um but I just can't, I don't know. I, I'm really torn. If I had Gliss, maybe I'd be more keen on doing it, but um, how do we want to play this? Do we want to go Kaja? I think we have to go Kaja because we don't know what this, this could be the support Wukong. It looks kind of like a support Wukong. Um, what was I saying? Uh glyphs oh um yeah we need glyphs and we need that accuracy ascension accuracy double roll i don't know i might just bite the bullet and just say all right we're running warlord like 340 speed and we're just gonna run with as much accuracy as we can get which is probably gonna be like 630 maybe maybe i could get it to 650 with like let's say glyphs and everything um but I mean, he still sometimes fails to lock out at like 700. So 650 is going to be anyone stacking high res is going to 
resist a 650. 650 is just not that. Like, it's not going to cut it. Um, so, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But the accuracy ascension, like right now he has a chest with, I think, double roll or triple roll speed or double roll speed and no. Um, okay, so it's a Nuker Wukong. Uh... How do we want to play this? Georgian? I guess. Do I ban the Sifi? Should have gone Staltus. Should have gone Staltus instead of Georgian, I think. I'm going to be stuck taking a risk and double hitting the Rodos. But I really shouldn't. Well, let's let's see how much um see if he has any bolster. No bolster. Okay, that's good. Uh, let's just double hit the Rodos. And it totally bit us in the ass. Uh, let's probably GG. Yeah, uh, the Georgia was a bad pick there. I needed to go Staltus. Yeah, that was that was my bad. I played that I played that really poorly. All I, I should have picked Staltus, then I could have double hit the Wukong and stunned the uh, Rodos. And even if I didn't stun the Rodos, like if the Wukong is dead, Rodos, when you're running like Rodos or when you're running two nukers. Uh, when you're, sorry, when you're running two revivers and a tanky nuker like Staltus, um, he's probably not going to be able to kill the Staltus. He might not even be able to kill the nukers without the increased attack on the Rodos. Although I guess he would have the increased attack from the from the Dutch. No, he wouldn't because I. No, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I just shouldn't have picked Georgia. He was a really bad pick into a, um, into a UDK. What I could have done is maybe killed the UDK. Okay, man, this is this is brutal. Uh, okay, we definitely want Georgia to deal with the um. reach cup i think i have to go kaja here i kind of don't want to i kind of want to go romansu but depending on what nukers he picks that might not work oh uh, what was that guy's name bjorn let me make a note that he runs uh nuke wukong what did he not pick a... Nuker? Is it a Nuke UDK? Let's run this. I wonder if Quintus is the wrong choice. Let's see if he just resisted that. Um, do we take out the Sifi or do we take out the Marichka? Let's take out the Sifi. Oh, bummer. Didn't get her. That was kind of dumb. I don't know why I wasted that right there.
It's unfortunate. I really just want this UDK to take his turn. It's not a nuke UDK. Okay. Well, this will be interesting to see how it goes. Kaja is going to be really helpful here. For the cleansing. DK is gone. DK is back. Oh, I forgot that Marichka is going to. Um... Oh, did I make a mistake? Should I have just. The problem is, I didn't really have a good way to deal with the. Um... I really didn't want to do this. I'm going to hit him with the AoE since there's so many buffs up. That was nice. Did pretty good, actually. We can get rid of any of these. Is there any way to check the blessings uh, mid-fight? Nice. Killed the UDK. Okay, so he doesn't have any, um, he doesn't have any, what's it called? Oh, please. Oh, wait, thank God. Um, let's see what we can, oh, nice, we got her. Lock out. Uh, the Marichka keeps resisting us, though, which is really annoying. Of course, Sifi is a nightmare. Um... I'm going to save the turn meter boost on that. Let's see if this works. Okay. Okay, so the plan is save the turn meter boosts on everybody. Um, well, we, we might not have a choice. We might just end up killing her on accident. But we really need... Okay, yeah, no, that's, that's actually nice. But we need to make sure we save the um, Rodos lockout. Um... there so that's fine ah uh, shoot we don't have the turn meter boost on kaja the nice thing is is that his um max hp is significantly depleted Save that. This might do some work here. 
Oh, look at the Swift Parry proc on the on the um, Marichka. Bummer, dude. Bummer. I think everyone is locked out though, so. Um, do we kill her or do we save it? We save it. Let's do this. So the reason I want to save it is I want to reset the cooldown on his A3. I think Duchess is locked out. Oh, no, 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 we didn't get the kill, unfortunate. Yeah, like it it really um does a lot more work when Oh, please don't sleep, Aja. Okay, I was gonna say he might go for the warlord. If he had um, any, what's it called, blessings? Oh, shoot. Might as well hit the UDK, I guess. Sleep the Warlord. Nope. That doesn't matter. Um. If you're Duchess, I think we go CP. Don't know if Duchess has her cooldowns back yet. Okay, good. As long as she, he doesn't die, he shouldn't. Okay. Uh, I think we just use the A1 in case that she has polymorph. I don't remember, but okay. Awesome. Wow. Uh, well, he should have picked a nuker. <laughs> but it's crazy that Quintus could do that and like actually take them all down. Quintus, uh, his A3 kind of sucks, but if they have a bunch of buffs on them, it actually hits really hard. Like you saw there, he nuked pretty dang and, uh, good. Well, when, um, when the duchess uh, like after the duchess revived and they had all those buffs it's actually um it's kind of ooh okay um we want to go you know what let's take kaja we need kaja on the team no matter what so I probably should have gone Georgian. Um, let's see what he runs. Right now, I'm leaning towards banning the Marichka, actually. But we'll see. The Warlord's definitely a little little bit of a problem. We could... I'm trying to think of who I want to bring in. Bruh. Why are you not bringing any... Any nukers? How, how is this a real strategy? How are you not bringing anyone to the team that can deal damage? Uh, we're bringing Quintus because his A1 is so good. Um, Yeah, we'll just do this. Okay, and the Arbiter, that's fine. That's actually... 
kind of nice. Well, ooh, the, oh, you know what? Actually, now that I think about it, we don't have any healing like we did before. Ooh, and his Dutch or his his um. Is what's it called? Is really fast. Ooh, okay. What the hell? See if he just crit me. So I need to make sure global. World picks war. Oh, is this if you gonna sleep me? That's annoying. Woke up. Okay. Right. Okay, we get some lockout here. GG. Um, okay, so we got definitely gotta ban the Seafy. What a prick, dude. Can you run, like, real teams, like, with actual double nukers? Like, what are you doing? Even the last fight is, like, super annoying. Like, even though we won, it's like, bruh, use real champions. What are the fuck are you doing? I probably shouldn't have, um, now I think about it, I probably should not have gone with Quintus. Uh, we'll open Warlord so he doesn't take it. Um, I probably shouldn't have gone with Quintus simply because... I didn't consider the Arbiter ban and how little healing we would have without Warlord. Like, Warlord's A2 is actually a significant amount of healing in that team. Um, you know, it's not going to keep you alive against, like, actual nukers, like a team with damage dealers. But on a team with... Um, oops. No, that's not what we want. On a team with... Uh, um, what am I trying to say? On a team with no damage dealer then uh, I think what is this guy's deal have you like why do you not bring nukers man what are you doing Um. No, we just yeah, we just ban the UDK, right? Or the Rotos, right? Especially with UDK and the um Necrate counter countering my nukers so much. Uh, let's see. How do we want to play this? Let's see if we can do this Necro. Oh, there we go. It is a new QDK. He was just locked out the whole time last time. Got it. That's kind of nice. Got to get the heal, actually. 
Um. Okay, perfect. Did I use the A3 here on the UDK? Why not? Let's just do it. Oh, wow. We didn't even kill him. Is he a new cutie? Well, no, he is because he hit everyone. I think we're only going to be able to do five fights this this video because uh, some of those ran really long. I wonder if this guy like runs Georgia or something. Oh my god, same guy. I wonder if like uh, well, so we'll pick Warlord. Um, like I get like maybe you want to run like defensive teams but like really <laughs> okay he picked quintus <laughs> wow I, i'd never see anyone pick quintus that's uh that's funny um so we'll go georgian arbiter i mean quintus is a bad pick for him i think um Yeah, I think we go Staltus Kaja. Uh, who do we ban here? I think we ban a UDK. No, let's ban the CP. Oh, perfect, perfect. I love that actually. I love that he. Uh, well, okay, the uh, don't uh, the Marisha is going to be a pain in the ass. But what I love about this is um, the Rodos was going to be really hard, and if we lock the Rodos out, it's going to make life a lot easier. So now we can just do that. We need to make sure, um... We save all our turn meter boosts. Actually, no. Okay. We need to take out the, um... We need to take out the Arima, or the Marichka right now, while the Quintus is still alive and stunned. Uh, let's save that for a second. Oh, of course he pro proc the extra turn. Are you kidding me? Um. We have to take out the Quintus. Shit. 
You gotta be kidding me, man. You gotta be kidding me. I've just been having the worst RNG. Um, I mean, we still might win this. But we probably will, to be honest. But I've just been having the worst RNG with Rotos today. One time I had a Rotos like proc literally two uh, extra turns in a row. And um, and then like come back and completely like like he killed four people in one turn. And that was the only he was the only one left on the team. Like all I had to do was get a turn and I would win. And the Rotos like procked an extra turn. Uh like he what did he do? I think he A1 and then he A3'd and then he A1 and procked an extra turn again. And it was just like he from lockout. Like with I think we had two turns on his ability. Anyway, moral story is it's like I've just been getting the most bullshit RNG today. Um, okay, so how did we make out? We got three out of five kind of long fights especially uh some of these in here um about this global world guy three times he needs to build some more nukers on his account uh actually what did he pick on the last one here? oh he picked quintus that's what he picked quintus in that was random um yeah made no sense because he didn't really have anyone to protect it uh let's see yeah, overall, can't complain too much. Um, so definitely, fingers crossed, I can get some more glyphs. We're doing all right. I mean, we, we were 240. I was up to like two, I was up at 228 earlier today, and then I had some bullshit fights. Um, so, you know, we'll see what happens, but we're kind of hovering around this area right now. But I'm, I'm feeling good about some of the, like, changes that we made on the account. The Foley build, the Kaja being faster. I think all this stuff is going to slowly help us out. But, you know, fights at this level are pretty tough. All right, that's going to be it for now. I'll see you all in the next one. Cheers.